Okay, I'm Rob Boyle. We're in Coolidge, Arizona. Uh, we're down on one of our fields where we've been strip tilling. Uh, this will be the second crop going into second year corn. Uh, this field was a three year alfalfa field. Then we strip tilled corn into it. Uh, it was one of my top fields. We made 38 ton corn silage on it. Then we came back in with 20 tons of manure and um, we've been trying to figure out a better way to incorporate the manure with strip till and uh, so on this field we uh, demonstrated a joker high speed disc and worked the ground about three inches deep just to get that manure disc under and, and kind of help level the trash out a little bit. Now in February we'll come back in strip till one pass and then come back in and start planting corn. Uh, our goal is the middle to the end of February to have corn in the ground. The ideal goal here on the, our farm and dairy operation is we're a closed loop. So whatever my corn, when it came off this field was deficient in, whether it's a little bit of copper, a little bit of calcium, anything it's short, we supplement those minerals at the dairy. Then that manure comes back onto these same fields. So we're hoping to slowly build that soil back up. This field also, our pre-plant soil test showed an 8.7 pH and our post-harvest test showed a 7.8 pH. So this field, our goal is to come back on the exact same strip and build off that reduction in pH and try to see if the, between the manure application, the, the, multi, uh, the mul uh, multivitamin is what I call it, with all the micros that we put down, if we can't build this soil back up and uh, get way healthier soil. And, uh, and then we have a couple more fields where we're trying some cover crops this year. This is the first time uh, got some hairy vetch planted. This field was, uh, we didn't want to do all of our fields. So this one is just a fallow for now. Um, two of the other fields have the vetch in it. So just trying to look at different options to try to build the soil biology back up.